Hello. Let's get into Fortune 499. The latest humble original game. Um, a game by A.P. Thompson with art by Jenny Jow Sia. Sorry if I said that wrong. I'm not too sure. Um, I haven't played this before. This is just something that I, I opened it up just to make sure the stream was working. So let's just get into it. From the little blurb, this sounded like a business sim management fortune teller game. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's try it out. I'm just using keyboard and mouse here. Cassie, you really want to learn the basics of fortune telling. Usually folks don't take an interest. Spacebar. Laura. Yeah, show us. Your work is so mysterious. Nobody really knows what you do all day. I'd love to see it firsthand. Tom. Actually, I mostly just want to avoid the giant inbox waiting for me back in my office. We've got HP, MP, budget. Cassie. Alright, I'm assuming that pink bow in the hair is Cassie. I'm not too sure who Tom is. Ooh. Here, Laura, you'll play Tom at Rock, Paper, Scissors. To play, you both secretly choose one of Rock, Rock, Paper, or Scissors. Choose one of rock. This music. You know how to play Rock, Paper, Scissors. Here's a VUI. You choose your weapon from one of the three highlighted buttons. Am I clicking here? Rock, paper, or scissors. Always rock. Always rock first. Damn. So much for fortune telling. Alright, I'm assuming this dude on the right is Tom. I'll predict which weapon Tom will use. To do so, click on the fortune telling deck to draw a card. Scissors that tells us that Tom is more likely to use scissors during the next round. The four of scissors. I'm more likely to do what now? Plug up your ears, Tom. Scissors, you should choose rock. That totally works, I needed to draw one card. What happened if I draw a bunch of cards? A skilled Oracle can usually draw up to four cards for a single prediction. It's like a card battling rock, paper, scissors game around fortune telling. Introducing uncertainty to a previously solid prediction. Two, three, four. This is just what I was talking about. Two of rock, two of paper, and two of scissors. Your first three cards effectively cancelled out your prediction. But the last card, the three of paper, re tipped the scales in favour of paper. Most likely to choose paper. There's a big difference. Yep. Cassie, the boss, wants to see you in his office. Maybe he needs to win 60% of a rock, paper, scissors tournament. Haha. <laughs> Just go into the elevator. You remember how to walk? Just use the WASD keys. You... I've been here <laughs> longer than you. <laughs> Thanks, intern. Alright. Oh. This feels a bit strange. 
It's like I press the key and then it does it. I wonder if that's the game or if that's something to do with my streaming setup. This seems weird. Let's talk to these people. <laughs> How does that benefit the company? Oops, I didn't even read that. I love the color palette of this game. All these creamy, pastel, bright colors. It's cool. And these little, um, the character portraits, the little, I guess this is 8-bit. I don't know. Maybe, I don't, I actually don't know, but it looks cool. Maybe this is less than 8-bit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm aware of all that. Are you okay over there? What's this all about? Head of the Magical Resources Department, I'm receiving new pressures from the higher-ups and the shareholders. Slim down. Oh no, I'm getting fired. Elemental magic, with an emphasis on projects involving lightning spells. <laughs> lightning magic and computers, there's a lot of lot going on there right now. Wizard stuff. What the hell? useless majors from the department and the first person he thought of was me? Derek, what the hell? <laughs> this weird corporate language being used to talk about this company that's transitioning into lightning elemental magic. <laughs> this is funny. Bullshit. What you actually do. Break room microwave being as reliable as a witch's magic. One more prediction for me. Tell me whether fate thinks you should stay or not. You're a coward. You're effectively asking me to fire myself because you don't have the guts. This music is real good. I'll give you one last prediction and then pack up my stuff. <laughs> Monster boss. What is this music? This is so good. The bad guy music.
back to the rock, paper, scissors. All right, so I guess the point is here that I need to win rock, paper, scissors three times to get that HP to zero. And I've got 10 cards, so... I always want to draw cards. And I always want to have an odd number of cards. No, well, I just want to make sure that I've got some favor in one of these things. So I guess this indicates that he is more likely to draw rock now. So I guess I'm better off drawing paper. And he did rock. Oh, and it did two damage. Okay. I see. And it's telling me what I've thrown out. So this is my deck graveyard, I guess. Uh, just keep going then. Way more likely to do rock, so I do paper again. <gasps> Bamboozled. And does this go turn by turn? So does that mean we're back to square one? Or back to equal chance of him doing anything? I guess so. Increases paper probability, so I'll go scissors. So I'll pick scissors. <gasps> what is this plus one karma that's going on? I wonder if I should be drawing a card every time. Or if sometimes I should just guess. If I've got three other guys to get through, then this is this is going to take a while. Kung Fu or something. Showing my cards. I actually can use some simple offensive magic. I have to draw mana from my deck to use magic. Okay, so there's my MP. Since I can only draw four cards at once, I'll just need to predict and dodge his attacks until I have enough mana to strike back. So... Predict and dodge his attacks. Do I use this? I can't because I don't have any MP and I have to wait for my mana to charge up. Damn. I'm just gonna go for it. I charge my mana. And once I use up all my cards, they shuffle back in. Interesting. Alright, so now 
I guess I only have one mana card, so I guess I'll just use up all of these. times 20 cards drawn. Oh, minus five dollars times 20 cards drawn. Plus ten dollars times six karma. How does that work? I looted 35 dollars from him. I lose five dollars times 20 for the cards drawn. And then I gain 60 dollars for the karma. Alright, so I guess it goes 35 minus, what's that, $100, so it's just zero. I guess it just doesn't go to the negative, and I just get whatever money times karma, and $60 reward, okay. This is really cool, I wasn't expecting this at all. This is the magical resource department, the stronghold against monsters. Obviously, we were only a distraction. There's bigger monsters out there. There's always bigger monsters. Need more than just one lucky witch to stop our hostile takeover. Hostile takeover in the magical resources department. Fortune 500.